Hey guys, it's Cassie Ocker Gamer, and today's game is called Mausoleum. It is about exploring a cemetery mausoleum thing, and I think there's a cult, and there's two endings, so we're gonna try to get both of those. Yeah, start. Oh, is that a church? Yeah. interested to see this cult that was mentioned in the description see what that's all about oh i guess that's something from them hanging from the tree hello there can we talk to you oh your face hello priest carlos young assistant it's good to have you here in these dark moments we are living as you already know our community is being invaded by the forces of the underworld yes i already knew that the eye of the evil watches us threateningly from high in the sky. Thousands have perished, and thousands more have been seduced by the false promises of the cult. Our mission is to guide our congregation towards the divine light and protect it. So what can we do? We? Oh no, I'm just an old man. There's not much I can do. That's why I've urgently asked you to come. There's a task that I need you to carry out right away with your vigorous youth. Okay. <laughs> The church cemetery is infested with pagan symbols hung by the cult members. Oh, like on the tree. These pendants increase the power of the darkness and bring it closer to our sanctuary. This church is the last stronghold of humanity in our town. We must stop the advance of evil by any means. I need you to destroy the nine symbols and come back. Okie dokie. Thank God you're here. Let's go. There's no time to waste. The symbols are everywhere. Search thoroughly in every corner of the cemetery. Ah, and one more thing. If you see anyone strange out there, don't look at them, don't talk to them. The cult will try to break your faith. They may even put illusory images in your young and beautiful mind. Resist. Okay. Why do we have a trap door here? What is this for? It's just a chalice. What? Okay, but I wanna see this trap door. It's firmly closed, Never mind. Okay, I'll go get those pagan symbols. I know where one is. Boop. That was one. Oh, I guess there's nothing else to explore over here. See another one. See another one. Two. And is this an open grave? Oh, hello. Three weird that they would just leave that open like that. Four. Can I climb up here and look? If I can climb up here and look around, that might be helpful. That's a scary looking... Oh, there's some, oh, there's some people up there. Don't look at them. Don't look at them. Don't look at them, don't talk to them. Don't look at them, don't talk to them. Are they gonna follow us or something? It's five, right? Was that four or five? I don't know. This is either five or six. Oh, six, it says right there on the side. My bad. Seven. Okay, that person is wearing a head. Can I talk to, like what would happen if I talked to them? Dog head, hello. Who are you and what are you doing? I'm a normal person just casually strolling through this cemetery. Could you do me a huge favor? I need you to pour some of my blood into the chalice in the church. No, no. Why would I do that? Good question. You see, my group and I are trying to change the world. And for that, it's necessary to completely remodel that old church. What do you think? Would you help us make a world a better place? N no. No, you, you seem like a good person who has been struggling. I maintain to maintain your faith after everything that's happened in this town. You seem like someone willing to do whatever it takes to make things better. Someone who's tired of living in a constant state of fear and misery. 
You can achieve positive change in your life and in the lives of those around you. You just have to pour this blood into the chalice and start enjoying. No. If you were willing to see beyond the obvious, you would discover the truth that lies in the shadows. Your spiritual leader is not who you think he is. His true motivations are dark and repugnant. Beneath the church lies a dreadful secret that can change your perspective on things. He's manipulating you, just like the others. He's made you think of us as demons, when in reality, we are the inexorable revolution. People like the priest in your church have sown the wind, and we are the tempest that will reap. Okay. I won't ask you again. Help me into the church, and will you be? And you will be rewarded in the new world. Never. Your decision will condemn you. You're just postponing the inevitable. So I guess the second ending, one ending is going to be to help the church, and one ending is going to be to help the cult. I guess. Ah! Jump scare. Okay. So does that mean this one opens too? Key. Don't know what that goes to. Okay, we still have... Oh, there's the cult out there. Look at that. We still have two more we need to get to help the church. Not gonna talk to the other dog head person. Okay, that's eight. Um, I guess let's go down here. We're only missing one more. We'll just have to remember that we need to come back out this way to look. Because I don't think the ninth one's gonna, gonna be down here. Oh. Oh, this is under the church. I can't move, I can't do anything. What has the pastor been doing under here? What happened? A video camera. This is very strange. It's like torture down here. Instruments of torture. Okay. Uh, let's... I don't think there's anything we can do with that right now. We just That's just information. So we're just going to go back out here and look for the ninth thingy. Where's the ninth thingy? We got that one already. It's right here. So now we need to go back to the church. And I, yeah, I guess this will be one ending to help him, and then the next ending we will get, which will just be to help the dog head uh, cult people. Have you completed your task, young man? Have you destroyed all the symbols? It is done. Well done, young man. You have a great. Uh, you, we have a great challenge ahead, but we have started the battle. You have proven to be a faithful warrior of God. Dun dun dun. The sunlight shines again for now. really love to know what was going on in that basement though <laughs> that looks so silly why is there you wave the flag of your faith like a candle in the storm you seek the light to guide your steps through the darkness nothing erodes the solid solidity of your convictions you are a warrior of god will god answer your prayers you have resisted okay i'm gonna go back through now and get the second ending so i'm just gonna fast forward through all of this and we will pick up when i first run into one of the dog head cult people so yep see you in a minute Okay, so here is the first dog head person. What do you want? Yes, I will do that. That was easier than I thought, thanks. Great. 
Now let's run back to the church and we'll just go ahead and do the blood chalice thing. That should be it for this ending, I think. I think this one's pretty easy. Can I talk to you? The blood goes in the chalice. Okay, great. Okay, let's put the blood in the chalice. Here's where the guy wants me to pour his blood. Pour the blood into the chalice. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You let it in. I did, I did let it in. <laughs> okay. You let it in. Oof. All right, well, he's dead. Now what happens? Oh, that was it. I thought there was gonna be like some big supernatural thing that happened, but nope, that was it. So that was Mausoleum. We got both the endings. So yay, that was, that was fun. If you like that, be sure to do the YouTube things. Leave me a comment about something, anything down below, and be sure to come back almost every day for more videos by me. I'll see you next time. Bye.